Hey everyone, it's me, Josh Masters, and we are experiencing the Word together, and we are on day three of who I am in Christ, discovering my true identity. And whether you're using this notebook, which is available in the link in the description, or you are just using a blank notebook, whatever it is, we're glad that you're here. I'm grateful that you're here. And we are learning to be still before God and meditate on his word. Our passage today is entitled, I am forgiven. I am forgiven. And we're going to be looking at Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 8. And today I'm going to read from the NIV. So let me pray for us, and then we're going to jump right into the verse. Father God, you are good. And you are holy, and you are worthy of praise. And although we don't deserve to be forgiven, you made the ultimate sacrifice so that we could be forgiven. And oh Lord, I wonder how much more I could do for the kingdom, how much more we could do for the kingdom as a community if we could grasp hold of the fact that you have forgiven us and that our shame is from the enemy. Lord, as we lead, read your word today, and as you lead us in your word today, I pray that you would encourage us, that you would open our hearts and our ears so that we can hear what it is you want to say to us. So help us, help us to be still. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Here is our passage for today. What does the Holy Spirit point out to you as I read? The, which words and phrases? Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us to be adopted as his sons through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and his will to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given to us in the one he loves. In him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding. That's our passage for today that we're going to meditate on. So I want to encourage you, now go get alone with this passage in whatever um, translation you want to read it in. Be quiet before God. Ask him to point out which words and phrases he wants to make you aware of, that he wants to point out to you. And then walk through the five steps of experiencing the word. Again, if you don't know those five steps, I'm going to link to a video here that will explain all the steps to you so that you can, whether you're using our workbook or you're using a, just a notebook, you can follow along. So thank you for joining us. I pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal to you who you are in Christ, in the name of Christ. Amen. Thanks for joining us. God bless.